Hey guys, this is Coach Letitia. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube and taking the time to watch this video today. So I want to kind of give you a background of where I was previous to this video because a lot of you have followed me for a while and you know that I competed previously and I was in really good shape. Um, and then my life kind of fell apart and from physically, emotionally, um, every aspect. My life kind of took a downhill uh, spiral a little bit. Um, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about where I was at previous to this so that you can understand my comeback story. So, um, and this is just a portion of it. This is kind of part one um, and you guys will see uh, the second part of it coming out soon. But so previous to this, you guys know I've competed, I've won. Um, this is just a couple of my trophies. I have a bunch of them. You guys know like I've kind of been at the top um, but through the process of a 10-year uh, divorce, um, I kind of uh, was in a tough spot, you know. Um, I was left with uh, all the debt. Um, all my furniture was just kind of taken from me with no warning. My phone was just turned off. Um, some crazy things happened, and I was really left with nothing. I slept on the floor with just like a pad, a memory foam pad for three or four months, I think. Um, no TV or anything like that. Um, and then my health started to take a toll. So I lost a lot of weight, uh, like 10 pounds, I want to say, in five days. It wasn't even a week. Um, I had lost a significant amount of weight um, due to stress and it wasn't the good kind of weight. You know, I was in shape. I was athletic. Um, I compete. I work out all the time. So it wasn't the kind of weight that you want to lose, right? I was in a tough spot and then I started to get myself back on track through, I spent a lot of time in prayer and learning to love myself the way that God loves me first and foremost. And you know, that's kind of been uh, my journey and what I've really learned to do so that no matter what comes up in life, I can handle it, right? Because I know who I am. So um, that's kind of what I worked on for a long time, but my physical health uh, was still, um, a, it's a process. Um, and when you get so unhealthy like that, like I was, um, I couldn't walk down the stairs without like shaking and holding on to the rail. Like it was bad. I couldn't work out for sure. Every time I would try because I'd be like, all right, today's the day, you know, I'm going to get in there and get it done. Like I just couldn't. I was so dizzy. Like I just, I couldn't do anything. So um, I would always get there five or 10 minutes in and I'd just be like, man, I can't. And I leave. I've been really working the last couple years on my health and my spiritual health and my physical health. Um, and just really focused on getting healthy. And while there's still a few areas I'm working on, um, you guys know a little bit, I have the skin issue that I've been dealing with. It's significantly better, so we're moving in the right direction. But anyway, um, I had competed and got my foot in the water right before COVID, and then COVID happened, so the show I wanted to do wasn't on. Um, so this is kind of my comeback from there. So I had gotten to a point previous to this that I was, what they call skinny fat. So I was super small, or I was I was small, um, but I had lost so much of my muscle mass that I had before, you know? So um, that's kind of where I was at, really unhealthy place. And so this has been like the last couple of years, my journey back and the photos you're gonna see are actually, um, I wanna say they're like a six month span. So this was kind of the end um, because when you're in a place like that, you really don't want to share your photos, right? I'm not taking selfies when I'm not feeling good when I um, lost all my muscle mass like I'm just that's not where I was at you know so um, there's not a whole lot of photos and so this is why I'm sharing this video so um, thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing I hope that you will share this video with somebody who may need some inspiration or feel like you know maybe they're at rock bottom uh, talk to you guys later thank you so much bye <laughs>
looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real? Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies mm-hmm. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the way too long You always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong Yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah, you, better step into the light Just give it a try, know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long 